You know, Minority Leader Harina Chiefs will serve notice of challenging the decision by the second deputy speaker to dismiss the motion by the first deputy. Page 10. Where reference is made to the Honorable Deputy Majority Leader. Uh, for the record, I thought that he referenced Article 187 uh, to, to raise his objection. So in the second line, he raised a preliminary objection citing Article 187. That is why he did yesterday. If you want for emphasis five, so that the record will have it, Mr. Speaker. I'm saying so because, as you yourself have rightly advised, we will challenge the ruling of your first deputy to which you have so eloquently addressed this morning. But we want the record to be succinctly captured that this was his objection. His objection was based on Article 187. He, he said so, so that tomorrow into the foreseeable future, will know what guided the ruling for purpose of uh, litigating on it as we intend to. Away from Parliament, the Interior Minister Ambrose Derry has revealed that a crack team of security personnel have been taxed to retrieve illegal weapons possessed by unauthorized persons in the country. This forms part of a series of measures put in place by government to deal with the proliferation of illegal arms and ammunition. The minister also indicated that some persons involved in the manufacturing of local weapons, also known as blacksmith, have been arrested in parts of the country. Answering a question on the floor of the House uh, from the Norton MP, Kobuna Mensa Woyome, on steps taken by government to address the situation, the Nandom legislator expressed optimism that the new strategy adopted by government will rid the country of illegal arms in the system. The police administration, in collaboration with other security agencies and stakeholders, such as the National Commission on Small Arms and Light Weapons, have developed a strategy to monitor, control, arrest, and prosecute persons involved in illicit arms transactions in the country. The following measures have been put in place. One, D, employment of intelligence-led police operations to search for and recover illegal weapons. And right over I can tell you we are raking in a lot under this operation. Second, stringent measures are put in place at the various entry points to check illegal arms and detect concealed firearms in shipment containers. Three, there are efforts in place to mark all categories of weapons at the magazines of security agencies in the country using the ECOWAS unique marking code. This will make it easier for weapons to be identified and traced to a particular security agency in the event such a weapon is found at any crime scene. This is aimed at improving the physical security and stockpile management of weapons and prevent the temptation of elements within the security agencies from proliferating arms belonging to the state. Four, the laws which frown on manufacturing of arms are constantly monitored. Any blasphemies found to be manufacturing guns are not spared. The monitoring exercise has led to the arrest of some blasphemies in the eastern region, who were reported to be providing locally manufactured guns to armed robbers. Right Honorable Speaker, I must also indicate that the National Commission on Small Arms and Light Weapons has been embarking on public education and sensitization programs to educate the citizenry on the dangers associated with the proliferation of weapons. I take this opportunity to urge the public to provide information to the security agencies for swift intervention to arrest smugglers of small arms and light weapons and criminals in general. 